Rising nearly 400 feet above the desert floor in a remote section of New Mexico within ancient Anasazi territory is a place named Chaco Canyon and within stands an imposing natural structure called Fajada Butte. Hidden from the world for over 700 years along a precarious narrow ledge, there lay a secret, ancient, astronomical observatory. Subsequently given the name Sun Dagger, and the reason why is nothing less than remarkable. It has been revealed that for more than a thousand years, the Sun Dagger has been revealing to all aware of its creation the subtle changing of the seasons. In 1977, it was thankfully rediscovered when rock art and petroglyphs were spotted nearby. Anna Sofer, who was cataloging the rock art, was one morning greeted by the Sun Dagger, slowly traveling across the wall, traversing the strange spiral patterns which were etched upon them. The intelligent Anna realized that the Sun Dagger could have been connected to the petroglyphs, so along with her colleagues, she came back at various dates throughout the year eventually establishing the following information. On the summer solstice, the sun dagger appears near the top of the largest spiral, and over a period of 18 minutes it slices through the very center, cutting the spiral in half before leaving it in shadow for another year. On the winter solstice, two daggers of light appear, lasting for 49 minutes, during which they frame the large spiral. Finally, an equally fascinating and more complex light show occurs on the spring and autumn equinoxes. The large spiral is carved in such a way that counting from the center outward to the right, there are nine grooves. On each equinox, a dagger of light appears that cuts through the spiral on different angles. Meanwhile, a second dagger slices through the center of the smaller spiral. These light shows, which had been going on for centuries, continued for several years after their rediscovery. However, in 1989, it was found that the granite slabs had shifted. The alignments that had been arranged so carefully were no more. It also seems impossible for us modern people to realign them as all attempts have failed. Was this sun dagger really made by the Anasazi Indians? Or was it a far older surviving relic, one that they were merely aware of? A relic which has unfortunately eroded away? Similar ancient light displays marking the solstices and equinoxes can be found at other locations as well, such as in the southwestern United States and Mexico. In a ruin in Hovenweep National Monument, near the borders of Utah and Colorado, light beams also illuminate spiral petroglyphs on the summer solstice. At Burrow Flats in Southern California, a winter solstice sun points a finger of light to the center of five concentric rings in an early Chumash rock art display. Were these monuments once used by a lost, ancient advanced group of marauders as calendar sites while traveling America? Perhaps one day we will know for sure. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. There has been a wealth of documented artifacts found within very ancient sediment, coal seams, minerals, and even stones and geodes, all indicating that a vastly different story has taken place upon our Earth to that of what the majority stubbornly persist in assuming. So many pieces of evidence, in fact, it seems that it has been an impossible task for an unknown group of tyrants who, for whatever reason, have attempted to conceal or suppress such discoveries, or more importantly, hide the historical tales in which they are all trying to tell us. And these next three are no exception. The Lanjo Stone discovered in 1999 by Zhilin Wang in a remote mountainous area in northwest China. Upon research being undertaken, it was established to be unexplainable. The rock is made of an unknown material, and the metal artifact embedded within may quite possibly have alien origins. As reported in the Lanzhou Morning News on June 26, 2002. More than 10 geologists, physicists, and other specialists from such institutes as the National Land Resources Bureau of China, the Institute of Geology and Minerals Research, and the School of Resources and Environment all eventually studied the possible origins of the stone. The results of these examinations, the possible explanations for its formation or indeed origin, were never released. Amazingly, however, the scientists unanimously concluded that the stone is currently one of the most valuable in China or possibly the world. When pressed for further explanation, 
it was disclosed that the rock will apparently be extremely important for future research and, quote, archaeological studies. Any further disclosure regarding the scientists' discoveries has remained elusive. The Wolfseg iron has a similarly suppressed story, over 20 million years old. This extremely ancient and clearly once worked cube of iron may also have come from space. Indeed, that is a conclusion many educated researchers arrived at. Although attempts to discredit such claims involve recent testing, which has shown the cube lacks usual elements present in meteoric material, they all avoid mentioning its strong magnetic characteristics, a signature uncannily similar to that found in meteorites and other objects with an otherworldly origin. It was discovered when a workman at the Braun Iron Foundry in Schoendorf, Austria, was breaking up a block of lignite that had been mined at Wolfsegg. In 1886, mining engineer Adolf Gurlt reported the object to the Natural History Society of Bonn, who noted that the object was coated with a thin layer of rust, was made of iron, and had a specific gravity of 7.75. Early descriptions of the object appeared in contemporary editions of the scientific journals Nature and L'Astronomie, identified at the time by numerous scientists as being a fossil meteorite. Now virtually unanimously concluded to have been man-made, it has thus been unexplainable. Stolen at one point, it was strangely returned to another museum, now without a compelling mainstream explanation it has simply been condemned to the history books as some form of elaborate hoax. Impossible artifacts have been found in the most unusual of places. For example, a seemingly unbreakable piece of unknown metal, possibly a ring of ancient, or according to man's official history, alien origin found within a geode encapsulated for over 200 million years. Most people begin with good intentions, but sadly, are often allured away by various means of temptation, subsequently allowing such relics to disappear into the archives of the past. This report and the accompanying image, it seems, is all that we will ever see regarding this compelling artifact. A mysterious fate experienced by many such artifacts. For example, sadly, only the Wolfseg iron now remains in the public domain for future testing. What secret within our past is felt by some clearly powerful people as an imperative to keep concealed from the majority of the world? Maybe the question should be, will we ever be ready or indeed able to find out? There are many enigmatic, unexplained ancient mysteries which we have covered here on our channel. Many mysterious ruins which are slowly revealing their secrets to us. However, what must be the most intriguing of the historical subcategories has to be the O-parts, out-of-place artifacts that have been found all over Earth. These mystifying items are the only subject within the field which can shed their own very unique lights upon the distant past and sometimes hard-to-believe possibilities attached to their ages. The island of Samos within Greece is home to a number of these particular artifacts. 1.5 kilometers off the coast of Turkey, this small island has a big history. Within the island's capital museum is a wide range of very impressive artifacts. The most interesting among the collection is undoubtedly the strange bronze artifact which according to academia, merely depicts a strange form of unknown carriage that would have once been pulled by horses. However, some also believe that the strange animals are actually depicting a form of periscope and that the entire artifact is actually that of an ancient submarine. Additionally, there also exists another amazing artifact that we felt was worth a mention, found within private collection. Originally a religious idol, what do you think this wooden artifact is depicting? Could it actually be that of modern day paragliders, somehow sent back in time? seen and depicted by this once ancient people as a religious vision? It's an incredible, if rather imaginative thought, but it is testament to such artifacts intriguing nature. There are many incredible, out-of-place artifacts that can be found all over Earth. Each one just waiting to spark our interest. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.
In 1990, an Italian geologist named Angelo Bittoni would find an unusual stone while visiting Sierra Leone, a mysterious artifact that has baffled all who have studied it. A local Fuller chief was said to have given it to Pitoni, a blue stone with mysterious white lines upon its surface. After returning to Europe, Pitoni took the stone to the Institute of Natural Sciences of Geneva and then University La Sapienza in Rome for further analysis. To his surprise, tests revealed that it was not a turquoise or indeed anything that could officially be identified. Furthermore, the blue stone didn't correspond to any known mineral. But the most intriguing thing is its color. Researchers still do not understand how the stone has acquired or retained its color. This even though several universities and laboratories have analyzed the artifact at great length. It seems its color remains a mystery. Mysteriously, at the University of Utrecht, the stone underwent several tests with use of strong acids, but none of the acids could affect the stone. It was even heated to over 3000 degrees Celsius, yet its composition wasn't altered. When a small piece of the stone was pulverized and viewed under the microscope, it curiously lost its color. Now known as the Sky Stone, According to analysis, an amazing 77.17% of the stone is somehow made of pure oxygen. The remaining percentage was divided between carbon, calcium and another unknown element. When researchers crushed a piece of the sky rock and mixed it with acetone, hexane and methylene and then enhanced the extractions with ultrasound, they were eventually able to locate an organic compound that is currently unknown to science. Dated at 55,000 years old, just what is the Sky Stone? How could it possibly be made mostly of oxygen? Is this stone a past remnant left by a once advanced civilization? Or maybe its origins are not even local to Earth? Amazingly, it seems that Pitoni's Sky Stone is not unique. There has in fact been similar finds in other places of the Earth, most notably Brazil. The other sample of Skystone was submitted to GRS Swiss Labs for testing and analysis by an anonymous dealer. Intrigued, American artist and designer Jared Collins tried to buy the small cutaway piece from the dealer so he could study it further, but the dealer refused to sell it. He wouldn't even name a price for the larger full stone. It seems there are indeed other exhibits of this curious stone made mostly of pure oxygen in existence. Yet the mystery surrounding their makeup and origin persists to this day. Although many of our viewers express a belief that all ancient ruins were constructed by our ancestors with methods learned over eons of trial and error, some also devoutly attest to them eventually succumbing to a biblically documented deluge. The fact remains, at this current time in history, we cannot prove this beyond doubt. As a collaboration who actively researches and seeks out these specific ruins in question, we have come into contact with considerable evidence to support many of these ruins having once been submerged, either by fresh or, more often than not, an ancient sea. However, due to their possible extraordinary antiquity, these subversive experiences may have been merely due to climactic changes rather than divine intervention. There is also growing hostility towards the once popularly touted proposition of ancient aliens, or perhaps ancient astronauts. Many governmental bodies have supposedly come clean over recent years regarding alien disclosure, releasing a number of apparent smoking guns to the public, often videos which included military testimonies regarding said encounters. Is it therefore such an absurdity to merely postulate that, based on currently presented information, that an alien civilization, clearly far more advanced than us, is currently observing our planet and species? Perhaps we once knew these beings, before something clearly happened within our past, something which made us forget a considerable amount of our own history. Many of the ancient structures found upon our planet defy belief or explanation. Is it so unforgivable to ponder whether our ancestors received an intellectual nudge at some point within antiquity? 
There are also many ancient tribes whose ancestral accounts often include some sort of visitation, with some, like the Dogans, celebrating the processions of the Sirius star system, processions we didn't confirm as accurate until earlier this century. And the Scythians could be seen as the most valuable of these tribes, mainly due to a mysterious idol once found frozen within one of their ancient tombs, sunk deep into permafrost among the Altai Mountains of Serbia. It is known as the Scythian Spaceman, and for good reason, it must be remembered when looking upon such objects with eyes from a modern world that the clothing this idol wears is far removed from the tribe in which created it. It is not only unusual, but eerily reminiscent of our own modern spacesuits. What's more, and perhaps the most damning evidence, is his space helmet, a device that would have been crucial for communication with a being from an entirely different atmosphere. What was the Scythian spaceman? What does it represent? Did the Eurasian nomads actually encounter an ancient astronaut? We find the existence of such artifacts highly compelling.